Hello, and welcome to part 5, I believe, of the trophy truck. Um, yeah. I just got back from work, I can't think properly. The workshop trophy truck, though. In the last one, I believe, I finished up the chassis, put the springs on, and got it moving or something. So in this one, I'm going to basically just tune it, because the chassis is pretty much done how I want it. So yeah, I'm going to upload this version once I get it handling how I want it. It will be up tomorrow. Well, I'm recording this on Tuesday. The video will be going up on Wednesday at, about, at around 1 p.m. Eastern. And then after I get home from work, I will upload the truck to the workshop. And then I'll uh, tune it a little bit more, put a body on it, and upload that version also. I'll do that in another video. That'll be the last video. But yeah. So it's been a day or two since I drove it last, so I just want to see how it handles again, so I can uh, decide what needs to be changed. It looks like the rear end needs to be a bit stiffer. So I will stiffen it with these. Yeah, four is way too low. I should probably take it to my racetrack to tune it. This should be fine. Um, basically what I'm trying to get is as little roll forwards and back as I can while still having having good acceleration and speed. And it's not roll, sorry, it's pitch. I'm trying to get the pitch to change as little as possible. But also, something I forgot, and just remembered, is I was supposed to do a quick tutorial on how to make a U-jump. I was going to put it in this video at the very beginning, but I think I will do a separate one of it now. Just, I'll have it go up after this one. Or, no, I'll have it go up at the same time. So. I'm going to, uh, I was working on the jeep so I don't have right parts, this, um, the jeep that I put a uh, quick video up of, I deleted by accident, but luckily I had the uh, test version so I can go back and redo it, and then that's what I'm doing with the chassis. Once this is completely done, I'll put up a... I'll make a video of the Jeep once it's done too. That seems better. I'll probably have to up it a little, make it a little bit more stiff when I put the body on it. Uh, no! Here we go. It's really tippy. Likes to roll. Um, how can I fix that? Uh, 
I will let you be fine, but this like this. So. If I do the backs, will it hit the wheel or not? Because what this will do is it'll help put more force towards the outside of the axle and help stop it rotating too much or twisting. And that seems to have helped a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I think the front could use a little bit more weight, but I don't want to make it too heavy and slow down the truck a lot. I'd make the truck a lot faster, but it would lift the front too much. I have to let off the throttle to turn as it is. Well, not a bad landing. The front pitches down really slow. When I jump, it doesn't change until I land, which is an issue. Other than that, it seems okay. I like watching it like this. It looks so cool. And there's a rock. I was waiting for that. I think I'm going to try and make the front end a little bit stiffer. This is one reason I usually don't do build videos, is when I get to the tuning part, it gets very boring. So I will understand if this part has less watch time and views. Um, there's a bug on my screen, and there's a tree. I'm going to add a little bit more weight in the front. Not too much. I want it to be right up in the front. So, it's a little bit higher up than I'd like it to be, but, okay. That's holding it down a little bit better. <laughs> it's one thing I don't think some people understand, like just your everyday person that has a car, is that there's a lot more to a car than just building it or whatever. You have to. A real vehicle is designed on paper and then made out of clay and then tons of stuff. They have to make an engine for it, design the engine, design the drivetrain, have to tune it, and then even once they go into mass production for them, there can still be issues. So I am happy with how this is handling. It could be faster, but that would give it too much torque. You know, it'd lift up the front too much. So I'm going to drive back to the garage and end this part. It's much shorter than the others, but there wasn't much to do in this one. I don't want to start the body and then have to stop and go to another part halfway through. I want to have the body, it's the entire body in one part. Plus doing it this bit will get it out to you guys faster. It's been like, what, two weeks? I could see how it would handle if I up the speed a little bit more. I'll do that really quick. Yeah, the front end lifts too much and the axle twists. So I cannot go that much. Oops.
And then after the body, I'll put some more details. The body episode will probably be a fairly long one. I am quite pleased with how this handles now. Um, as I said, it will be up on Wednesday at around 6, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, depending if I have to do anything after work or not. And then, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed it, well, sorry, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And, um, if you've stuck through and watched these parts and have waited for the truck, thank you. And I apologize for it taking so long. I just, as I said before, I didn't want to just sit down and build the entire truck and get really bored and just rush through it. I wanted it to be something good that I think you guys would enjoy. So yeah, thanks for watching.